Welcome to Inside the Honors College, where we believe that wisdom and virtue is found when we learn together. Join us as we take an inside look at a community dedicated to educating the next generation of disciples and scholars. I'm Abby DeVos. And I'm Taina Esteves. And yes, let me get on top of this episode because we have been talking to Res Life here. And I am an RA this year. So if you sense any sort of like familiarity during the interview, or bias, or bias, if that's what you want to call it, (laughs) it is indeed because I was speaking to my supervisors. (laughs) So yeah, no, it's been, it's been great. It was lovely getting to talk to them. Um, getting to know the inner workings both as an RA, but also getting to listen to them talk Mm -hmm. about their perspective and how res life is kind of catered to us as students and what does our living experience look like was was an awesome opportunity to to delve more into it. And I'm so excited for for people to see it. Especially since every single student interacts with res life who lives on campus. Like so many of our honor students live on campus. And so everyone has an RA Mm -hmm. and some people know them well, some people don't. So it's cool being able to talk to a department that touches so many of our students' lives. Absolutely. Well, without further ado, let's get right into it. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. Uh, I've asked this question once, and I feel like I'm going to stick with it. On a scale of thumbs that our audience can't see, what scale are your thumbs at? (laughs) Well, uh, my thumb is like, I got one thumb up and then the other like kind of like like teetering up and down, you know, it's the start of the semester. There you um, go. We're almost in the full swing of the academic semester. So yeah, I got one thumb up, one kind of up and down a little bit. My my thumbs are also shaking in the air. (laughs) (laughs) Shaking from the coffee, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm not a coffee guy, but they are Uh, shaking from life. (laughs) I'm making a triangle with my hands right now because they're both diagonal. There you go. So yeah, they're both going up, but they're like diagonal, Mm -hmm. like a triangle a little bit. I feel like this is just yeah. a great practice in being able to articulate and explain yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you to see. Um, well, beautiful. With that introduction, can I get you both please to say your names and your role in your office? Yeah, uh, my name is Josh Hazen. I'm one of the area directors for our Residence Life. I got the incredible opportunity to walk alongside just not only our residents, but our resident advisors. Um, I supervised Shire and Ingstrom Hall. As Shire well. Mod. Shire Mod. Much what? Much what? Much what? <laughs> Uh, my name is Cody Schneider. I'm also one of the area directors here, uh, and I get to work with Trinity Hall, which I think is the best hall on campus, Ooh. Um, and, part of, <laughs> and part of University Village as well. There we go. There we go. Well, first off, getting into our fun questions about our department slash office, uh, does your office offer any snacks? Ooh, that's a good one. I know there's times where we do have snacks up at the front, we kind of sometimes <laughs> have a basket. I do know I personally have snacks in my office, so if you ever stop by my office, which is in Ingstrom Hall, and just tap me on the door, um, definitely be able to have a lot of those Cheez-Its, uh, Lay's, cheese, uh, Cheetos. Cheese. So, so it sounds like if yeah. you want pro- like produce cheese, yeah, go to Josh. I, I don't got the healthy <laughs> snacks, but I got the good ones. <laughs> My, my office silence. is kind of the hodgepodge of whatever's left over from the most recent program. There you go. Yeah, right now I've got a lot of like assortment of like snow cone supplies, which okay. you can't really eat <laughs> unless you have any ice. Um, but to have a good coffee and tea station set up in there. So if you're looking just for a nice little hot beverage, you can stop by my office. And if they have shaved ice, it yeah. sounds like they can oh. bring it to you. If you just happen to have some shaved ice on your hands, I've got the flavoring. Beautiful, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, if you could describe your office slash department in three words, what words would those be? We'll start with Cody. Mm, uh, I mean, I feel like it's a cliche one, um, but definitely like community. Yeah. I mean, mm. like, it's a good word. It's yeah. a good word. Can I go with like a hyphenated word? By all means. Um, <laughs> Organized chaos. Okay. Yeah. At least that's my yeah. my area. Yeah. I feel like it's just like yeah, there was a little bit of organized chaos and then um support. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that's a big part of our, our office and our, our hope is to support students. So yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little more lamer on this one. I'm actually <laughs> gonna take our RA theme of be belong and become. So please mm-hmm. we have a mission we have a mission. We statement. have a mission <laughs> statement. You know, as you can tell, Cody's more off the cuff. And I'm like, yeah, like no, but um, yeah, we I think the three things that we want, at least for me, when I think of our office, is like we want our students just to be who they are. We want them to bring their unique personality. We want them to bring their unique skill set. Um, we want them to belong in our residential living areas. We want them to belong within our residence halls or even just apartments. And also, we just want them to become more aware of who they are and become better individuals and be able to walk alongside them. So yeah, those kind of three hyphens kind of articulate our theme for our RAs, but also in my eyes, it also kind of articulates the theme for res life as a whole. Yeah, that's beautiful. They're great words. And for viewers that can't see me, uh, I am an RA as of recording this right now, and those was those are theme Ooh. this past training, and so I tensed. 
taken back to those intense two weeks of figuring out what does it mean to be an artist. Intense two weeks. <laughs> um, great. And then our final kind of introduction question here. What is your favorite part about your office? That can be both metaphorical and like, we get to interact with students. And it can also be, I love my chair. Yeah, I always say I got the best job on off in, on campus because I get to get coffee with students for a living. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for me, the best part about the job is just being able to know that we get to walk alongside um, individuals who are processing. And that's the really fun part of we get to see them from when they show up all the way to when they graduate. And just seeing that journey is just so rewarding. Um, but just being able to be alongside them in that process is just absolutely life and daily from my end. So that's one of my favorite parts about the role. <laughs> and, you know, as a coffee addict, getting free coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's both a blessing and a curse, or both a pro and a con, we're going to call it. Uh, I think that with Res Life, we get to live alongside our students. Mm -hmm. um, as a full-time staff member, we also, like, as full-time staff members, we both also live on campus. And so I think, yeah, like my wife also works in student affairs. Um, she's named Sydney. She was in the Campus Life episode. Um, and she does live on campus, but her role, like, doesn't necessarily, like, create those, like, there's not that, that opportunity to see students where they live. Um, and so I think that's just like a really special part of, yeah, like whether it's, you know, 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 p.m., 3 in the morning, um, we get the opportunity to walk alongside students, live alongside students, um, truly do life together with them. So, yeah. Listen, I think the phrase blessing and a curse in that sense is, <laughs> is honestly due. It's due. Mm. Uh, and this is honestly due for you. you. guys are great getting into the heart of that really nicely. Uh, so kind of starting off a little bit more superficially. What does the Office of Res Life kind of help provide and do around campus for students? Yeah, I mean, at a baseline level, we have, we oversee the different living areas that are on campus. So right now we have about 1,500 students who live on campus. And so, I mean, at, when they first get here, right, they have to come to us to get their keys. Mm -hmm. uh, we help to, you know, assess the, the quality of the room. Is there damage? You know, make sure that there's furniture in there, make <laughs> sure it's livable. Uh, so that's like very baseline, but... Um, and I think that's what some people are like, oh, yeah, like we used to be separate. It used to be residence mm -hmm. life and housing as two separate mm -hmm. things. Um, but outside of just the housing logistics of it all, uh, yeah, we have, uh, you know, a plethora of grad students and undergraduate students who are uh, working for our office, who live alongside the students, who help to create community, provide support, uh, and, and just like do life with our students. And so I think it's it's more than just the logistics. There's also the communal aspect to it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even like jumping on that communal aspect, we also be able to have the blessing to actually host events. Um, mm -hmm. Our RAs host individual living area events within the halls, courts, and wings just to be able to help our residents connect with each other within those hall, courts, and wings. But at the same time, we do have our large scale programs as well where we invite the whole totality of our really residential community come together and be able to have fun. I know that uh, Street Beat's coming up soon. I hear that there might be a mechanical <laughs> unicorn, shark, or something like that. You have to wait and see. You wait and see for the flyer. It should be coming out this week. So, But Friday, September 22nd, yeah, 6 p.m. out on Trail so. Of 2023. Who knows? Who knows, listeners? You may be listening to this years later and like, where's my mechanical bowl? So <laughs> take, it, take it year by year. Take it yeah, year by year. You never know. You never know. Yeah. So what would you say are some of the strengths of your office, whether that be in how they interact with students or kind of like independent of your guys' selves? Um, what would be the strength of like Res Life? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm just going to say our RAs. Honestly, oh, our RAs please, are please. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Like this team this year is just going above and beyond. And really like they're the boots on the ground. They're the boots on the ground of interacting with our residents. They're the boots on the ground of being able to be agents of referral, you know, provide resources. So I think the absolute awesome part of our office is that we actually have a processing students and a really opportunity to lead walking alongside students that are developing and processing so it's just that uniqueness of being able to empower our students and really our RAs so that they're able to become develop better stronger skills but at the same time be able to be themselves and be able to bring their unique personality to what their vision of community is and I think that's the great part about it, is the community is not a one size fit all. It's how do you be able to get a culmination of multiple different people and multiple different perspectives mm -hmm. and be able to get them together to be able to kind of have like a shared vision. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think a big part of our, our office mission is to help create a community for our residents. But I think res life, the RAs, the GRCs, the full-time staff members, we have a community amongst ourselves as mm -hmm. well. And so I think like that for me, you know, we're in constant communication with one another um, we're constantly finding ways to support one another. And I, because I feel like if we didn't have that foundation of connection and support, uh, we wouldn't, how, how are you able to do that with students? Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's a definitely a strength that 
I've seen over the years in res life is, yeah, like I have relationships with the RAs. I have relationships with the GRCs. I have relationships with my fellow staff members. Um, and when this job, so when this job gets hard, I know I can lean on them. I can talk to them. They support me just as much as mm. I support them. Uh, and yeah, so I think like just that, that community aspect of our, our team, um, it just translates to, it, like it transfers over to like when we create community for our students mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. yeah. And then just for the sake of anyone who may not know the terms yet or specifically, can we talk a little bit about what an RA is and what that, I mean, I know it's also weird coming from me as a resident advisor myself, but could you both pour into the like logistics of what that looks like on campus? Yeah, absolutely. So an RA is a resident advisor. Um, they are an undergraduate student who actually participate within residence life. Um, I think it's one of the greatest gigs on campus. You're able to get that free <laughs> housing in the Cougar Plan C. But really what their role entails is that they're just there to help build communities within the hall, wings, and even courts. Um, they host fun programs. They do residential checks. Um, they're on call as well. And it's one of those uniqueness where we really try to be intentional in setting up those resident advisors so that they are able to really pour in to those students within their hall, wings, and courts. Um, but yeah, it's a great, great position. Yeah, and then could you speak to the GRC position a little bit as well? I know that that term itself has changed, at least from even my experience in this past year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like for me, like I always say, like when I explain things to people, I'm like our office is alphabet soup. There's like, a bunch of letters that get thrown around. Uh, GRCs are graduate resident coordinators, so they are current graduate students uh, here at APU. Uh, we have folks in the college counseling and student development program, in the vocare slash seminary program, and then we have. Uh, one of them is in a lead, like a master's yeah. leadership, mm-hmm. and so uh, they so they are the ones who actually supervise the RAs directly. They also live on campus in their respective living areas. On their primary primary role is to support the RAs, the programs that are going on. They also serve in an on call rotation, uh, and yeah, just another you know source of support for our students. And so it's you know like I said, it kind of creates that helps to create that web of support from Res Life. You know, having the RAs, the GRCs, mm-hmm. and then the area directors. Yeah, absolutely. So having journeyed along students as much as you guys have, especially with a department like Res, Res Life, um, what would you say is a piece of like advice or a resource or service that your office provides that students maybe don't utilize as much? Yeah, I mean, I'm like a big, I think I say this for a lot of different things, but I think with most things on when you're in, when you're in college, uh, it's you get out what you put in. Um, mm-hmm. I think like so many times like students are like, I didn't go to that program because I didn't want to, or uh, maybe they just like decided to do something else instead. And and obviously students have really busy schedules. And so like, you know, I'm not saying go, you know, ditch a class or miss <laughs> chapel or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, I think just like for us, like, you know, our RAs put a lot of work into the programs that they're doing with their individual mm-hmm. communities. Uh, they put in a lot of work to their living area programs and the all res life programs. And so, yeah, my, my recommendation to students is, Hey, like, you know, stop by, even if it's for, you know, five, 10 minutes or the whole, the whole event, uh, that's just going to, you know, hopefully enhance your experience. I, I, I always think about this, this student I met last year, she came by from an event. She said, yeah, I just came from therapy and I have class in 20 minutes, but I came by, I grabbed some popcorn and we had these tricycles set up for Mario Kart. And she's like, this was like the best 10 minutes for me just to like de-stress, mm-hmm. talk to some folks in between you know, a heavy conversation in therapy and then uh, having to, you know, jump right into, a, you know, a class 20 minutes later. And so, yeah, just really like, encur- I really encourage folks to, when you're able to just, you know, hop on over to an event, talk, talk to your RA, talk mm-hmm. to your TRC, talk to your AD. Uh, yeah, like our jobs are like, there is a lot of administrative tasks to them, but we are also here just to spend time with you, do life with you and support you in any way that you need. I feel like you put that perfectly. <laughs> that's I, don't that's that's really I, nice. I don't know how I'd add on to it, you know? Like, if there's anything practically speaking uh, as well about the office, like what does it look like to do uh, like cards or stuff or like ID, anything that you may, like a piece of like people lose their key and stuff. Great, great question. Yeah. So like, let's just say you uh, lose your key, you're having ID access, ID access challenges, trying to get into the residence halls. Um, just stop by our office in Ingram Hall, right? And yeah. we will always have somebody there from my knowledge from, nine to four thirty and then besides lunch from twelve to one. But on that administrative practical level, we always want to be able to 
ensure that we could be able to talk to those residents and be able to walk them through. And then additionally, if you are having some challenges with roommates as well, we do have a living with roommates page on our website to be able to walk you through some additional resources like that. I know that's kind of a, a little more drier compared to a Cody. No, it's good. <laughs> Which, like, if we're going to be honest, Cody, Cody hit the nail he, on the head on that. He one. crushed it. Yeah. He crushed it. It was great. To bring it back to your, to your word of support as well. Um, well, thank you both so much for being here. Thank you for all the work that you put in into your office, both as a student and as a person working within your office. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Oh, I, uh, this was the highlight of my day. <laughs> we got to get Josh more to do. <laughs> uh, you, know that, you know that's true. I'm wearing a fanny pack. <laughs> I just want to give another shout out to Cody and Josh. Thank you both so much for talking with me. It was an absolute pleasure getting to to see both as a worker in this department, but also getting to see, you know, as a a service, a person to be serviced by this department as a resident. <laughs> a, of, recipient. As a, Pacific, a recipient. <laughs> That's a good R word for it. Um, yeah, it was great getting to kind of see the heart behind a lot of the stuff that mm. they were talking about, you know, as a resident and as both even in like an RA, you can see the, the things that you're supposed to do or yeah. the events that you're supposed to come to or that they want you to go to. Uh, but you don't always get that, that heart and intent about why they want to connect, about why they want to make these events and like kind of cater to that experience and walk alongside you uh, so it was just great getting to to see more of that heart and hopefully any residents uh, or people living on campus getting to to hear that can feel a little bit more joy and comfort and actually come to you know our little our little court events <laughs> <laughs> actually come to our little court events exactly. yeah i love love how they talked about the foundation of support and connection that's in their own department in mm-hmm. their own community mm-hmm. and ty i know you went through at like almost a month or not if not more it was of only training like two weeks but it felt longer oh wow okay yeah <laughs> i get. i guess you like came a month early I did, yeah, kind yeah. of thing or or about then but just the connection and support that the community of residents creates amongst themselves and yeah. that foundation then allowing them to like overflow into creating that same community and support mm-hmm. in their residents and in their courts and the people that they lead i think that is so important um because i just really trust the res life to department um, to support their people well. And so I trust their people to support the students really well. And I just love that whole dynamic a lot. Exactly. Building up people so that they can build up other people feels like a a great little tagline for Red Slide. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for taking an inside look at a community dedicating to educating the next generation of disciples and scholars. We'll see you next time on Inside the Honors College.